Hello and thanks for joining us for another Altera Central technical video. Today we're going to focus on the GeoSlam Horizon and specifically the Zeb Vision attachment and how we can colorize our point clouds as well as produce 360 panoramic images. Let's get into it. Here I am starting the Zeb Horizon scanner with the vision attachment. I'm going to be doing a closed loop and focus on the features that are relevant to what I want to get in my scan and what I would like colorized. All right, here you see GeoSlam Connect software. We're gonna go ahead and create a new project. This is the Boca Negra Dam and Bridge facility. We're gonna stick with the standard process SLAM workflow, but as you can see, there's lots of options here for if you want to georeference, or run a software called Volumes, Floor Slices, and even Colorize Out of the Gates. But for now, we're gonna stick with the traditional process SLAM. There's the name of our project. I'm going to go ahead and click on where it says drop or browse to data. And we're going to pick our GeoSlam file. Select our file format. Our decimation amount, which we will keep at default. And then also our processing type. Here we'll go ahead and stick with standard. But you can see we could do things like forest or confined spaces, etc. Lastly, we're going to toggle all three boxes to smooth the data, remove outliers, and apply a transient filter. And the last step here is we will give it a name for the scan, and then click on Import to do the initial processing. All right, so here we see the vision. We've got a Ethernet or RJ45 to decode for position M12 connector here. And we have to go ahead and power up the scanner. And once it's powered up, we can actually connect and browse the camera like a drive through File Explorer. Okay, now that we have the camera, Zeb camera connected to the Ethernet port on my computer, I'm gonna go ahead and go to an FTP IP address here. You'll see it's in my recent. This is the Gen 1 data logger for the uh, Zeb Horizon. And this is how you connect to the vision that's attached. So you'll see we have four project folders. Each indicates a scan. For now, I'm going to take the most recent, which would be project four. You can either do control X for cut or control C for copy. If you right click, there's no option to cut. And I like to cut because it's best practice to not leave your scan images on the vision. It only holds six gigabytes, so it can fill up pretty quick. We're gonna go ahead and paste that here. I'm actually gonna use a external hard drive and we'll go ahead and put it in this vision calibration folder here. We'll paste it. And once that's transferred, we will put the calibration file from the camera, which is a .json file in that folder. And then we'll proceed with doing the rest of this workflow in Connect. Now we're gonna copy the camera calibration.json file that I keep here in my root GeoSlam Connect software folder, C program data LiDAR OS. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in that project four folder, which contains the images that I'll be processing for the vision workflow. Now let's go back into GeoSlam Connect software. So you'll see we have the Boca Negra Dam GeoSlam file in here, along with the trajectory the smoothed LAZ, the outlier filtered LAZ, and then the outlier plus the transient filter LAZ. And what the transient filter does is remove items in motion, such as cars and people passing, bikes, etc. So let's take a look at the outlier transient LAZ. So the focal point here was this sign and we're gonna go ahead and run through the steps to colorize this. For this particular scan, I start and stop at the same location, so it was a closed loop. And the focus was to really pepper this area well, move very slow and purposeful with the camera angle so that I could get the best possible colorization. So we will run through the steps of the colorization, starting with uh, up here at the top, stitching Zeb Vision images followed by calculating the, the camera positions or poses. And then lastly, the actual colorization process. So we'll go ahead and run through that next. So let's step through the Zeb Vision processing, starting with stitching the images. 
So first we want to pick our GeoSlim file, which is already in our active project. So we'll say pick from project, pick that GeoSlim file, click select. Then we will point to our image folder, which is not currently in our project. So we will hit the drop down, pick system file. So it's this project four folder here. And within that folder, remember we put the camera calibration file in there. We will hit select. We're not going to save additional reference imagery for now. We're gonna skip that. We're also gonna keep the exposure uh, as is. If we find out we need to brighten or darken, we can come back to this step and do it again. We will also stitch every image, so leave that at one and click Start Stitching. Okay, now that we've stitched the images, we will go ahead and create the camera positions. So we'll click on that second button there pick our GeoSlim file from the project, click select. It automatically sees our trajectory file, so it's already selected there. We're gonna go ahead and pick our timing file. We will pick from project, because that was created in the previous step. There's our image timings file, .json, select. And we'll pick our calibration file, pick from project. And you'll see it's not only in the project four folder, but also here in the root of the project. So either one we can pick and that would work. We'll hit select and we will keep the default uh, of one for the sampling rate and we will create image pose file. The image position step here is very quick. You'll see that we've got a GS-Vision. So if we double click on that, you'll see a cluster of photos that represents second by second pictures along the trajectory. If we click on one here, uh, we would be able to see kind of what we are looking at and we can also turn off the scan to see a nice crisp clean one. We can click on any of these circles here uh, to see this panorama and you can actually take measurements within here as well. Okay so the last step of the vision processing would be to uh, go ahead and colorize the Zeb vision. So we will click on that button, pick our LAZ and of course we want to pick from our project and pick the transient outlier transient because both of those filters have been run. We're going to pick our GS vision file that was created in the previous step. Click select. We're going to uh, pick our calibration file from the project or the images folder. Either one is fine. And the default here is nine and negative nine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep those uh, defaults. We're skipping those because the scanner is, is stationary, right? For the first five to 10 seconds when you start the scan and you finish the scan. Lastly, we're not gonna skip any frames. I'll leave this at zero. And we're going to set our mask to handheld because we don't want the horizon handheld and vision in the colorization. So we're gonna set that on handheld. And by default, distance is the best result uh, as far as your colorization. Now, of course, you could toggle some of these to, but we're gonna go ahead and leave these settings and start colorizing. Okay, we've finished the colorization, the final step of the vision process, and we're going to double click the color.laz and take a look at that. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and turn on our color mode to RGB. You'll see we're colorized there. I'm actually going to reduce the item lighting a little bit. I think that uh, makes the image pop a little bit better. Our start point was on this manhole. As we pivot and get in here, and kind of take a look at this sign. So here we have this Boca Negra Dam sign in a three-dimensional point cloud colorized. And again, we can play with some of these settings to help visualize this a little bit better or bring this into third-party software as well. And lastly here, we wanted to show you the data set here in Trimble Business Center. It looks a little bit sharper here. And uh, with that, uh, we will conclude our video. Thanks again for attending another Altera Central Technical video. Thank you.